My peoples, my peoples, good morning and happy Thursday. It is Papa Zidi. We've got some team deathmatch for you, and I am just running around this joint looking for someone to shoot in the face. And I can't find anybody. Look at us just doing stairs, exercising, working on the quads, right? Quads. Nah, anyway, I don't work out, in case you didn't know. Anyway, so as you can tell from the title of this, yeah, I got blocked. I got blocked on Twitter by some pseudo e-famous YouTube commentator guy. And before I get into that story and three other stories just like it, I've, yeah, I've been blocked four times now, and it's, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts me. Before we get into any, any of that, as far as I know, three out of four of these guys were very, very outspoken back when SOPA was trying to get passed in Congress and PIPA, all these internet bills, and they were, it's going to ruin the internet, make it, you know, it's going to be censored and less free. And all the goody good stuff that the internet's all about is going to be taken away and censorship. Blah, they blase. Well, you know, when you block or ban someone, especially when they're just not being a complete, you know, asshat, they're just having a conversation with you, an intelligent conversation, you block them, you're doing the same thing, aren't you? Yeah. I think you are. I think you're doing, you're becoming that which you despise. Which, oh, that got me blocked. Anyway, so, okay, get into it real quick. A year ago, around this time, I think, maybe a little bit more, whenever Tupac's birthday is, or Tupac's, you know, I don't know, death day? Is that what you call it? The day he was killed? This guy, I West Coastin, or West Coastin, tweeted about how he changed the world. And I just thought that that was a bit much to say for any entertainer. You know, I don't think any entertainer through their music alone, has changed the world. So we went back and forth, and it was an intelligent, I thought, conversation, and we just disagreed. Blocked. It blocked you. What? Come on, man. Really? I was just like, wow. So that was kind of my introduction to Twitter. I had only been tweeting or Twittering for a short time, and I was like, wow, okay. Blocked. Whatever. So flash forward now. We're on YouTube. This guy is huge. He's considered one of the grandfathers of commentating. And I never really watched his stuff. I was more of like a C Nanners and Hutch kind of guy. Only Use Me Blade. Chris Smooth, who's probably my favorite. Oh, remember that guy. Remember that asshole. Anyway, so XCal was somebody who I, you know, had heard was, hey, check him out. He's good. He's good. And I watched a couple of his videos. Just the, uh, like, there was like a dual com and some other ones of just him playing. Um, no Let's Plays, which I hear he's excellent at. And all of his, um, you know, Black Ops gameplays that I watched, it just seemed like he was kind of bitching and moaning the whole time about other players' weapons they were using or their perks, their setup, whatever. And so I asked in the, in the comment section, I said, you know, is this all he brings to the table or is there something else? And a couple of his subscribers, fans of his, were, you know, very cordial and very nice and said, oh, no, man, this isn't, you definitely got to go check out his Let's Plays. They're awesome. So I went back and watched one I thought it was great and I was going to leave a comment. Blocked. Blocked on YouTube by XCal. Really? Are you that thin-skinned? Oh. You son of a... Are you that thin-skinned? That, that, that the constructive criticism? That all that was? I was just asking a question. Anyway, blocked. So, whatever. On to the next guy. Now, this is back on Twitter. And eat my diction. Funny guy, I think, you know, like his videos well enough, whatever. He posts a lot of tweets and a lot of comments from the comment sections of his videos of little, you know, word battles that he gets into with, you know, people in the comment section. So I figure he's got tough skin, you know, he can take whatever, call, being called out. And he jocks Hutch so hard, or at least he used to. And I called him out on it once. And it was about Boo Man. And he was like, oh, I've been watching Boo Man for like two days. And I'm like, oh, really? Two whole days? And so, no, stop jocking, Hutch, because it was kind of when Boo Man first got big. Anyway, blocked. Blocked by addiction. Oh, my God. Now, I know he's thick-skinned. He's got to be, right? So, the most recent and last one, obviously Jesus. You might know him from wanting to fight Woody, that whole thing at PAX. Fight me, Woody. Fight me at PAX. All that, you know, I don't know, bullshit. 
This guy's got, got one of the thickest skins. He's got to have one of the thickest skins, and all of YouTube them. YouTube land. And I don't even know where that guy was. The dude, I think, saved my butt right there. So we've had some real nice back and forth, you know, over the last five or six months. I don't agree with everything he says. He doesn't agree with what I say. Well, that was, but it was nice. It was nice back and forth. Yesterday, he tweeted that he was asking a question. He's like, can I, can I get someone for copyright violation if they use my image from, you know, YouTube in one of their videos? And I was like, really, dude? Really? You of all people are going to try to get someone on, on anything copywritten when you brag about all the legal download stuff that you get and don't pay for? Are you really going to try to get someone on that? And his response was, it's okay if I do it because they can't catch me, but I can catch them, meaning the people on YouTube who use his image. And I was like, dude, that's pretty hypocritical, right? I don't think you like hypocrites so much, do you? And he's like, oh, no, I understand them. And I'm like, that's BS. That is bullshit, Jesus. I know you hate hypocrites. So if that's true, then you again have become that which you despise, like so many others before you. Blocked. Blocked. Can't take it. What's wrong? Fucking man up. I mean, I guess it's having to deal with prepubescence all day and just the vile shit that they spit. But when someone's having an intelligent conversation with you, man, that's censorship. Guys, it's Papa Z. Let me know in the comments. I won't censor you. I promise. Peace.